All right, Todd, um, you know, thanks so much for taking the time uh, to join us on the Upper Deck Pop Culture live stream to discuss your work on the 10th anniversary of Marvel Legend, uh, Legendary Commemorative Print. Um, Todd, I, I love how it all turned out. You know, uh, take us back to where you get the phone call that they wanted you to be the artist on this gallery print. Yeah, let's see. I got an email from Erica, and uh, I'd done some trading cards with her just uh, a few months prior, and she had, you know, let me know about this project. And uh, just the concept sounded fun. These two separate prints, Marvel heroes on one side, Marvel villains on the other side going head to head. Um, sounded like a fun challenge and uh, and a, a, the type of image that I kind of live for and, and really enjoy drawing. So it was it was an easy sell right out of the gate. gate. I, I, I replied back saying, I'm in, let's go for it. You know, Todd, I know that you're uh, a huge in the, in the comic book industry, but were you familiar with the property or a fan of the game? Uh, unfortunately, I had not uh, had a chance to play the game. I'm not sure if I had heard of the game. I'm not a big gamer because I'm so busy drawing and trying to meet my deadlines. But I do enjoy playing games. And now that I've gotten a chance to work on this, I'd like to see if I can find a copy of the game and give it a go. Because I do have some friends who do my wife and I do play board games with and uh, or those or collectible card games with. And um, and that would be uh, fun to check out now that I've had a chance to uh, kind of dip my toe into it a little bit, even if it's uh a bit bit removed by doing these prints. Um, you know, let's talk about your artistic process. How do you how do you usually begin a new project and getting it from you know the design stage to kind of the finished product to, you know where it ends? Yeah, yeah. So let's see. I, I got, you know Erica and I kind of emailed back and forth, kind of discussing this and kind of the approach to it, and uh, kind of hearing her insights of um, heroes on one side, villains on the other. So once we kind of kind of got that locked in fairly, fairly quickly, it, my thought was. My, some of my initial thoughts are, where where do the characters go? So um, uh, these were all top characters because usually you know the top character is going to get the, kind of that spotlight place and more lesser known characters kind of kind of fill in around. But these are all top characters. But um, a lot of things I consider is who the character is, what is their power set, what are their costume colors, and um, what are their body types. So my thought was. What, I did one sketch where, which is one we finished on, where it's kind of uh, different tiers of characters moving backwards. Wolverine in the front, moving to Thor further in the background because he's able to fly. Um, I also did a shot where they're on top. I gave, put them on a, in a cityscape, so they were all kind of on the tops of buildings. So things I consider is who is stuck on the ground and who can be in the air. So Spider-Man, Storm. Rogue, Thor, they all can be in the air, so Wolverine has to be at the bottom. Now let's start to build up from there. Same thing on the villain side. It's like Mystique can't fly. Loki, I don't think he can really fly that I can think of. Anyhow, I'm putting him closer to the ground because I know we got Magneto up there, and mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Octopus can extend up there on his tentacles. So uh, so those are, those are things I consider. And then um, considering who I'm going to have opposite of who on, on, on each print, trying to kind of trying to kind of put a character as close to directly across from the villain they're known for uh, to a degree. Um, of course, with Thor and, and Loki, they were kind of diagonal. Same with Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus, but uh, the rest were kind of X-Men related villains. So they kind of tiered across. So so those are some of the things I, I, I think about in, in, in how would the characters also move? What are their body type positions? Wolverine's kind of going to be hunkered down. Spidey's going to be contorted. And uh, Dr. Doom's going to be more regal. So I'm, I, I'm thinking of these things as how, how, how would they, how, what would their body movement be? And how is that going to use the space? And how do I now fit the other characters in, in a kind of a Tetris sort of uh, fashion? Right. Uh, what's something that you would tell, you know, inspiring um, comic book artists today trying to break into the industry? Um, I, I'd probably tell them to, uh, you know, be ready to draw on a daily basis, uh, learn learn the, the the visual art of storytelling. So I, a lot of the, I think sometimes the, the the advice can be custom to to that specific artist in that specific moment. But really learning how to 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 draw a, a sequential story and, and, and immersing oneself in that visual language is is going to be key. And to uh, try to get any sort of training as possible. If you can't attend school, watch as many. YouTube tutorial videos on how to draw anatomy and backgrounds and, and learn these basics and then build your style on top of that. A lot of young artists say, I'm trying to find my style. It's like, don't worry about that. Learn the, the, the basics and your style will emerge from that. Your style will find you. Don't try to find your style because that's going to, you'll be spinning your wills and not growing as much as you could 
as as much as learning the basics and 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 getting those locked in as a sperm foundation and then start to build all the nuanced stuff which includes style on top of that well todd um you know thank you again for the time for joining us here in the uh, upper deck pop culture live stream and congrats on the amazing work that you've done to this uh the gallery print is there anywhere that um you know fans can either follow you on, on social media uh yes yes um I try to stay fairly active on my social media as much as possible. So uh, you can find me on, on, on Twitter and Instagram at Todd Knock, uh, YouTube at Todd Knock, and um, the Art of Todd Knock Facebook page. And ToddKnock.com has links to all these social media as well. If you can't remember them, just go to ToddKnock.com, and they're all linked there on, on the right-hand side of the website. All right, Todd. Thank you again. Uh, thank you. It was a lot of fun.